You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Uh, not the greatest day for the Maryland Terrapins, a good day for lacrosse. This game was over in the fourth quarter. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Jacklich Law Group. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Bruce Posner. What'd you see this time? Well, they were beat. Loyola was great. They had an answer for everything Maryland did. Maryland was uncharacteristically sloppy. I mean, you win 17 out of 21 faceoffs. You can lose, but you don't lose. You don't get dominated. They win 38 brown balls to 27. Stats don't mean anything. It's the scoreboard that means something. And Loyola was able to convert, you know, every time they had to. Maryland got the score tied, and you thought it was going to turn, but it just could not end. I don't know what he's going to do with the offense. It seems like, you know, Kelly had four goals. It seems to me like he might have been able to have eight or he seven. Did. All right, and, couple chances he didn't convert. But Wayne, you, you were on the field. Where was the shooting? It was so inaccurate. Well, okay. it wasn't just the shooting. It was fumbling passes. It was drawing double teams, not being able to get out of them, and turning the ball over, leading to fast breaks. From the point it was 8-6, to six, Loyola went on a devastating run after that and, and put Maryland away, where even on the defensive side, weren't really playing great assignment lacrosse today. Listen. I said this to Tony upstairs, Tony Wheels, Wheeler. We've been through such a great run. And the run's not over. It's one stinking game early in the year. And like <clears throat> now that they've lost, it's a wake-up call. Oh, it's a big wake-up call. Now, you saw some things. I'm going to tell you what scares me to death, and that's Logan. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. Uh, and he didn't want to comment He won't talk to me about it. He yeah. said, Bruce, I just don't want to talk. Yeah. I said, hey, yeah. But is it an ankle? Is he just bruised me? I don't know. You know what I mean? He, he, he is hobbling around. It's not like he's in Maryland. That probably is the news of the day. They lost the game, but what happened to Logan might be a more significant impact on this season. We're going to go to break here and come back and talk about what Loyola did fabulously well today. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. There's two seconds left. We look back at the sun here, and that'll do it. A historic upset, and here come the Greyhounds. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Great products, on point tech support, projects that run on time. These are some of the reasons that customers love Viner Forgates. We make your company work for your next IT project. Call Viner Forgates at 301 251 2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com. Hey, Rick Jackson, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know, Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the Big Dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. Still on the field here. Look, the Loyola crowd was great. This was a huge game for lacrosse. And it was Maryland. a lot of Maryland people here. It'll be uh, well represented. But listen, last year that score got up to like 18 to 4 or 19 to 4. We kept saying, let's back off, let's not do this because we've got to play them again. And I think that was factored into it. They had a whole year to think about that game. And now we have a whole year to think about this game that John decides to play them again. But and the, I think the series a, is over. It should be played. It should be played. This is a great lacrosse facility. Stout in goal, 
Number 21. He was, he was. But he, the players, the defense, Wayne, you know, wires and cues and whatever, they said it. They, they said they set it up. Merely was taking some point blank shots from too far out, and they don't have that kind of shooter. You know, no. only, there was nobody to go to. But look, he made the saves. We had okay. guys running down the alley like Luke Weirman late. He makes the save. He made the. Sometimes he looked like he knew where the ball was, but he was in the right place and he made the save. And and I don't know. Anyway, you look at the game, they lost. They got beat. It was uh, a dom. It was a beat down, dominating performance. And, we sure have d delivered enough of them to know when you're going to lose later on. You knew it. At, at 8 to 6, I had texted out even to you. At some point, so we have 22 minutes for Maryland to get this right. And then I was talking to my friend Ned, who shot the game with me. And when there was seven minutes to go, he said, remember, Maryland played Virginia in the championship and scored a goal a minute. But it wasn't going to happen today. It didn't happen today. Loyola was just better. And I know you got it afterwards. I congratulated Charlie Toomey as he should have been congratulated. He left that field last year in absolute depression. You remember. Yes. He was almost in tears. And yet came back, put the team together, and the team was great today. They probably will be a challenge, but boy, they're gonna have a tough game coming down next week. I mean, it's gonna to be tough. But look, it's one loss. The season's not over. You got ten more games. You got the Big Ten conference, but I'm sure every other team's looking at this game. And say, uh oh, it's up for grabs now. And I know one team that can't be happy about it, and that's Syracuse. Because they got to come poke the bear next week, and the bear's awful upset. I would be upset too. It's 12 7 Loyola, and.